In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to create with a graphics program a grid you can use if you want your production to be in the form of a collage. We've had several tutorials recently where we've shown you how to use the Collage Designer, which is a very sophisticated tool in PowerDirector version 16. But we also have a tutorial showing you how to make your own collage. It's not quite as full featured, but it does work. I've had several users ask me, how can I go ahead and do the grid? Well, we're going to show you how to do that. We have something on the screen where we have several segments and we're going to build a grid. You can use a free program that comes with Windows version 10 called Paint. And that's the simplest and easiest way to start that process. So we're going to show you how to do that in Paint. I have Paint up on the screen and I'm going to simply change a couple of things with this program. We're going to first of all change the background to black. So I have two color boxes at the top. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to move up and take the color 2 and change the background color to black. I'll click there, click on black. And then we'll go ahead and use our paint can and we will fill the background with our color black. Then we're going to use a foreground color. This will be the color of the grid. I can pick anything I want. I'm going to use my dark red or my maroon color for this exercise. And now I have a color I'm going to draw with. I need a, to use the line tool in the shapes box. And now I'm going to draw three separate lines. I'll pick the widest option I have for line width. It's eight pixels. I wish it were double that, but this is what we have here. And so I'll hold the shift key down and then drag a horizontal line across the screen. The shift uh, enables me to draw pure horizontal or pure vertical. So there we go with our horizontal line. Now once you have it there, you can hold the mouse over it and adjust it uh, up, down, left, or right. So I'm going to put it approximately in the middle of the screen here uh, to match what I want to do in my finished product. Uh, once I have this done, I can't change it, uh, so we'll put it about there. Then what I want to do is I want to draw another line, uh, so I'll hold the shift key down, press the left mouse button, and we'll draw another line. And that one works pretty good. Now we'll draw a third line. And now I have my grid. I can go ahead and move any of these any way I want to when I'm done. I'll click File and I'll do a Save As. I'll save it as a PNG file right to my desktop. And let's see, I'll call it, let's, let's call it Grid for now. Pretty simple. And save it. Now I'm done with my editor. All I need to do is minimize it. I go into my media room. I right click and I'm going to import a media file. I will import my grid from my desktop and now I have it. Now I drag it down and drop it into the lowest track in my uh, project Then I'll widen it so the duration is the same as the other parts. And now I have a grid but it overlays everything else so I'll double click on it now I'll click on the chroma key section in the PIP designer and the chroma key defaults to black. So when I hit chroma key, there it is, it's the second one down. When in the minute I turn it on, it made black transparent because when you click in here, you see black is the default. So now everything in black is transparent and I see everything except the four lines that I drew. If uh, your background was white, you simply click on the eyedropper and you click on the white and you could get the same results. But this was a, the simplest way to go. That's why I made it black to start with. Nice little feature there of using chroma key. So now that I have, uh, have it chroma keyed and uh, adjusted, uh, I'll go ahead and save 
that, uh, that graphic in the lower track. And that's when you go back in, and this is where the other exercise will give you some help on how to make adjustments on the various components that are part of your collage. In this case, I'll actually make this one bigger and drag it down. Uh, there's some better editing I could do, but that's for the other lesson you can see on Sharper Turtle. So here we go, and I'll press the movie, and we'll play it for a little bit. And now I have two videos, the top two items, and two still images. And I have a collage that I've been able to design using a program as simple as Windows Paint. Mm -hmm. 